Hey everybody, it's Bill, your host for Casual Carolina Fishing. I just want to thank everyone who followed along last year and welcome any new viewers to the channel. Hopefully we have ourselves another good year of fishing and a ton of fun in the process. Let's go see what's biting. Crazy as it sounds, it took me over about three hours, three and a half hours, just to find a bluegill to use as bait, cut bait. But I finally found a couple, so we'll see what we can do for catfish here with the cut bait. The reason it was so hard to find them, it rained really hard couple nights ago and so the water's high it's running pretty hard not super hard but it's running harder than usual and it also is really muddy looking real stained and muddy looking so uh, when I was having a hard time finding the bluegills I thought that uh, well, with the water up high and running a little harder than usual, maybe they're pushed back into some of the little creek beds where the, where the smaller creeks feed into this Alamance Creek. So I paddled back to a spot like that, and that's where I found the couple of bluegills at. So, it was a good thought on my part, and it paid off. The other day I was catching the heads on the back side of these trees and stuff right here beside me. But this is kind of a deep hole right here in front of it. So I thought I would try there today for a little bit. If I don't do any good, I'll move up the other side of it like I was catching them the other day. Yep, there's a bite going on down there. There we go, got him, I think. Yeah. Ooh, he's pulling good. Yeah. Little bullhead. All right. So. He kind of small. I don't believe I'm gonna keep him. Too small. Thanks for biting though. Had fun catching you. Go go up a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Biting. He's biting. Come here, dude. Oh yeah. What are you? You might be a nice size bullhead. He is a nice size bullhead. Good fight, dude. Thank you. Oh, it smokes, y'all. Good one. There. Real good one there. Oh, you going in the... Let me show you. <laughs> Look at a nice one. Nice little bullhead. I'm going in here. Having trouble keeping my uh, kayak anchored. Whoop, whoop, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. There we go. Oh! Oh, he's wrapped. He's wrapped. Damn it. He's wrapped up.
wrapped up around something though. Thank goodness I got him out of it. This current's running hard. off my finger. Okay. Another decent sized bullhead. Looks like a baby flathead almost, don't he? <laughs> Dude, in you go. Sure. He's way too tiny to keep. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a little bitty booger. He'll grow up some, fella. There's a bone. There we go. What are you? Whoa! 
What is that? That's a bass. <laughs> That's a large mouth bass. That's hilarious. I sure wasn't expecting to catch a largemouth bass on a piece of cutting bait down on the ground on the bottom of the water. That's hilarious. Since when the bass cruise the bottom looking for scavenge food like that? Huh? Since when? Largemouth bass. You've been caught before too, hadn't you? I believe you have you parasites on you. Maybe that's just parasites. You do little to keep though. Grow up some fella. I can't believe that large mouth bass hit a piece of cut bait. That's funny. It's real funny actually. All right, well, all right, well, my uh, fishing line where I'm tied to my hook here is getting uh, a little bit frayed up, so it, it, need, it would need to be retied to keep fishing, but it's almost 6 30. So I'm going to call it, and I think I just heard thunder, so yep, I'm done. I'm going to turn these fish loose because I'm not going to keep just two bullheads, and then I'm going home. So we'll see you later, folks. Take care. Hey, thanks for coming by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you would, click that thumbs up button down there. It lets YouTube know you liked the video, so they might recommend it to other people they think might enjoy it too. Also, click that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. That way you'll get notifications when I put my new videos out. We'll see you next time, wherever that happens to be, and whenever that happens to be. Take care, folks. Remember, get out there and do some fishing. It'll do your soul some good. <laughs>